All right, guys, we're here in my buddy's garage, and this 2-3 is getting ready to come out. It's about, what is it, uh, 1.30 in the morning, maybe, and I've got 24 hours, and I'm going to pull this motor out and put a new one in. I know I told you guys that... Uh, I was going to be pulling this 2-3 out at some point. I just didn't expect it to be this soon. And I'm putting another 2-3 in only because it would cost me more in parts to fix this 2-3 than what I paid for the one I'm going to put in, which is uh, in better condition according to the guy that I work with, which I'm buying it from. I haven't seen it yet, but I'm not paying very much for it to begin with, so... But it's got to be better than this one. This one only likes to run on three cylinders 90% of the time. And this is just a... Uh, this is purely for a drivability thing. This is not going to be the uh, final state of the car. I'm just doing this so it's more reliable for me to get back and forth to work while we put together the pieces for the project that we're going to be doing here with the Mustang. So I'm getting ready to uh, label all the little bits and pieces like oh let's see here like all these different plugs for the uh, coil packs and whatever else on the motor. I'm going to go ahead and I got like cloth tape label deals. I'm going to mark everything so that way when a new one goes in I know where to put everything and for the sake of not boring you, I'm going to go ahead and do that and then come back. So, as you can see, all this yellow tape here, I got as many sensors as I could get right off the bat taped off or plugs, sensors, whatever, whatever these things are, whatever they go to. I got them taped and marked and what I have written down may not be exactly what they are but it's good enough for me to remember where they go and there's one that's up oh I can't even can't even get the camera in there to see it but there is one back here where this cord goes and I don't know if it's there's a plug back there or if that's part of the front of the engine but I know it does connect down here via the there's two connectors the one dangling you can see right here and then this one here that I'm touching wait a minute well shit that was part of this this connector oh fuck that might be why my motor's been running so bad. That just broke off. Or was broken, I don't know. It was dangling. I thought it was supposed to be, but I guess not. Hey, look. Rag joint I replaced is still holding up. That's good. But, well, I'm gonna... See if I can't figure out what that cord goes to. Here's the uh, predicament that we're in now. Uh, I was talking to a buddy of mine who is very familiar with these two threes, and he told me that I wouldn't need to uh, use the uh, quick disconnect fuel for the fuel lines. Uh, he said I wouldn't need to disconnect any of the fuel lines. That I could just take the upper intake off, pull the fuel rail off to the side and I'd be good. It'd be out of the way. I wouldn't need to mess with it. Well, um, well, when we got uh, down here and uh, when I messed with the fuel rail and everything, I noticed that uh, these fuel lines here do actually, they run through these runners here on the intake manifold and the flange is solid on the other on the back side of this so these lines 
are actually trapped inside this manifold so I do actually need to get down here with the disconnects and it's like four in the morning so that's gonna have to wait uh, till tomorrow morning or at least another four hours which I'll probably still be awake uh, for the uh, store to open up so I can go get the tool so I've decided to move to the front and start taking the accessories off and I just got done fighting with the uh, power steering pump pulley I did have the uh, I went into the parts store actually earlier to get the uh, quick disconnect for the fuel lines and that's when the guy working there told me that I wouldn't need it but he said that I was going to need this here the uh, uh, power steering pump pulley pulling tool, the puller here. And so he rented me this, which I'm glad he did, so I can work on something while I wait for the parts store to open, which if I would have just went ahead and bought the tool to have it, I could be continuing with the uh, top end. But also, because I, he told me that I wouldn't have to uh, disconnecting the fuel lines I didn't bother to uh, depressurize the fuel system the, the lines are still pressurized so I can't really pull the relay for the fuel pump and let the car run to depressurize the lines so I'm either just gonna wait because I'll be working on it all night so it will eventually depressurize on its own sitting long enough or I will get something to catch all the fuel whenever I press this uh, Schrader valve down kinda like a tar uh, car tire push that in with a screwdriver sprays uh, gas everywhere I'm gonna take the alternator off I got the belt off already obviously and I'm not gonna bother pull it like disconnecting any of the power steering lines also I'm just gonna kinda pull it up and try and move it out of the way best I can so I can get to the uh, motor mounts and whatever else